So today we're going to take off the anode and replace it. We talked to fellow boaters and they were saying that um, zinc isn't actually the way to go for lakes because it just doesn't work. So we're gonna go with um, magnesium for a fresh lake. Yeah. So Alex is just taking this off right now. I think this is, what is it? Is it a zinc one? Why well, I, I don't have any idea. It hasn't really done anything. It's probably been on there for a while. Yeah, zinc's for uh, salt water. Magnesium is for like the Great Lakes and fresh water. And, and aluminum. Then aluminum is for like brackish water. We didn't really actually need to do like our zinc on our prop, but it looks pretty. So it's not like it's going to do anything bad. I need a screwdriver for that. The pry open? Yeah. There. What do they look like? Does it look that different, eh? I wonder, I wonder what kind of this. Uh, I don't know. It could have been a magnesium one. I have no idea. Okay, so here's the new anode that we just got from the store. Here it is right here, the magnesium anode. It's a one inch one. Yeah, it's different depending on your shaft size. <laughs> your shaft size. Your shaft size. It's getting chilly, looks like it might rain. Look at those storm clouds. Put the blue sky over here. Is that the money spot? Yeah, that's good. All right, now all I'm gonna do is try and keep it so, see how that crack is a little bit bigger yeah. than that crack now? So I'm gonna tighten this one up more. Shouldn't it be like super tight? Well, yeah, I am super tightening it, but I want it to be like equal tightness all, all the way around okay. to get the most adhesion as I can. <laughs> I think it's tight enough, then. That's good. Babe likes it tight. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> is it tight enough for you? We're gonna shine up our hull and um, we decided to use this Rolite um, fiberglass polish and it actually cleans, polishes, reconditions and um, it fills in like little scratches and stuff like that and it kind of like creates like a wax as well. All right, so basically what you do is you just kind of rub it in in like little circular motions and then keep kind of rubbing it until it kind of dissipates and you only need like a really small amount and then we'll go through with like a dry cloth and wipe it all off after and you just do like little sections at a time This is Bill. He's pretty much the wax pro at our marina. He recommended this product and has been helping us out. Thanks, Bill. It works really good. Some of the some of the grimier spots like that need a little bit more and are a little bit tougher to come off. But but you can see the difference just on the spot we haven't done to like above where we have. It's very shiny, and you can tell. If you give them a look down the side, they'll probably see it better. Yeah, like it's super shiny. So yeah, so far we've been pretty happy with it. Yeah, I'd recommend it if you guys ever need to clean your home.
out of all the things that we've done, I hate this the most. I hate it. Just giving up. I'm giving up. Look at Alex's nice side. He's coming to fix my spots because my spots suck. Like, that's his spot, and this is my spot. I'll show the Sucks. other side. Might even die. Just oh, I know. Side. Show him what I'm done. That's rude. I hate it. I'm just so done, but. <laughs> I keep asking if we're done yet, but we're not. We're not even close. Well, we're not even, I think we're like halfway. So we just found out that the marina is going to be closing for the next um, six weeks-ish, maybe more, just because of COVID. So yeah, that kind of sucks. So today's going to be our, our last day. And then our boat is still going in the water though. Um, but we won't be able to go on it. So it'll just be sitting in the water, which kind of sucks. But uh, we are looking forward to having a full season this year. So hopefully it won't be too, too long because last year we only were able to be out in like the end of August, kind of September, October. So hopefully things will open up soon and things can get back to normal. So yeah, sad day. Well, I'm here um, doing the rest of the waxing for the boat because we're actually allowed to come in for the few days before it goes back in the water. It goes back in the water and like, I think seven days um it's cold and alex isn't here so i'm um, just kind of like going through waxing all of these the front that we kind of didn't get done so that is my job today and it's really cold so i've been having probably gonna have to go take some breaks in the car and warm up my fingers i am actually pretty pressed though with how much it uh kept things clean like i'll give you a show of where we kind of stopped yesterday and where we kind of cleaned off and you can see like it's the difference is wild so that's kind of where we didn't continue on and it rained so some of the dirt from the top came down and this is where we waxed so it made a huge difference with like how much dirt actually stuck on the boat um you're supposed to finish it with the wax afterwards but um this also says that it says there's no need to wax over it, but the, the person who recommended it to us did suggest waxing. We actually don't have time, but look at the shine though. Like, I'm pretty happy with it. So anyways, it's ready to go in the water. Okay guys, remember how I said I was using my iPad to work? This is uh, what I've had to do because our Wi-Fi is really crappy. So I'm sitting outside of my friend's house and I'm just using her Wi-Fi to vlog this video. <laughs> the things you gotta do when you live in the country. It's me and Alex, we, he came with me to upload the video. So, which is really nice. Cause uh, we're just gonna wait here. It'll probably be like half an hour or so. Yeah. And we got some Timbits and yeah. some tea and Dexter is gonna be snug in. He gets one little Timbit for- Yeah, they were we were supposed to get him a plane Timbit, but yeah. they didn't have any planes. Imagine that, the yeah. worst Timbit, they don't have any. So yeah. I gotta find him one of these and like, I don't know, suck yeah. some ice in off or something. <laughs> I don't know, make something work. And thank God for good friends. Cause yeah, we drove all the way in from like our place, which is about a half an hour away because our internet, we tried uploading the video earlier and um, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't go <laughs> with our Wi-Fi. Yeah. So we came all the way in to Kingston and went to like my work and our wi-fi is disconnected just because we're shut down right now so i didn't know that so we came all this way yeah. and so i messaged my friend and asked her if we could come and use her internet so she said yes so that's what i'm doing <laughs> yeah. making do good friends <laughs> Guess what just got here? It looks like my new laptop. Now I can actually stop editing on my iPad and use a real computer. So this is great. I'm excited. So it's launch day at the marina. Our boat goes back in the water today, which is super exciting. Um, unfortunately, because of the closures, we can't actually go and see like the whole process. But our marina actually has a webcam, so we can uh, go through and see all of the footage and stuff for today. Like, it's all live and everything like that. So yeah, we'll be able to uh, 
still watch the process and Alex is working so I'm gonna videotape some of it for him so he can actually see it as well. So I'll uh, show you guys what it looks like. Also, it's my first day using this laptop. Um, it's new, bear with me because I'm not that great at technology, so. <laughs> So our boat should be kind of like right behind this boat here. I know we're kind of in that area. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll be able to kind of scroll through different, um, like, views as well. So... That looks like our boat. I'm pretty sure it's ours. <laughs> I remember because I put this big blue um, buoy in the middle. So I think they're just going to put the mast on. Looks really nice. Nice and shiny. We got an email too from the marina and they just said that um, some of the people who had been seen us working really hard on our boat, cleaning it and stuff like that, actually went around and polished our boat for us while we had been away. So that was really nice too. So I can't wait to see it. Well, our boat's all in the slip and everything went really great. It was nice that we were able to see the boat go in because, I mean, this is the first year that we've actually seen it go in the water because we just bought it. So the mast went up and everything looks good. So that's it for now. So we are able to come to the boat today. We forgot to leave our power cord in the boat and um, they couldn't plug us into power. So we're here doing that. We're just plugging in and everything, making sure that everything is working and turned on. Are any chargers running? It's running? Yeah. Build pump works. Okay. So I think we're good to well, our boat didn't sink after all our work. No, which is good. Did you check out the wax job at all? Well, I guess it's kind of hard to. No, but. I didn't check out the wax job. I'm going to check out the wax job before we go, though. I just don't want to be here for too long just because it's just a courtesy that they're letting us here, so. So there's the shine. That looks really good. Look, like the water's just beading right off of it. Well, it's raining. Pretty good out here now. Alex is just plugging in all the um, the mask lights and the antenna, and then we're gonna be on our way, and then hopefully see our boat soon. <laughs> Hit subscribe so you don't miss us next week when we put our boat back together. Hey, I'm Crystal, and this is Alex, and this is our fur baby Dexter. Together, we bought a Tanzer 26 and are currently sailing on Lake Ontario. We are complete beginners with no previous experience. Subscribe and join us as we learn how to sail and fix up our boat.